Hi and welcome to another video on Practical SQL for Beginners. In the last video, we explored the select and the distinct statement and we're able to see how it comes handy, especially when you are answering business questions uh, within SQL. In this video, we will be exploring the case statement. In case you want to learn more uh, or maybe you don't want to miss what we did with uh, in the last video, please check the link in the video comment uh, video description session where i included that i also described the problem we'll be addressing in this video which is using the case for the person type data so i'm going to write a query here to select star from person schema dot person right and that way we will start the the case here so this table consists of a lot of information about person person are everyone that has something to do with the business of adventure works either you are an employee either you are con store contact either you are vendor contact you are a general contact you are you are you are individual customers you are six person you are all person and there are other table that then house some of your uh, specific detail like employee within the human resources all right so what we're going to do here is to look at this person table so i'm going to select this thing a person type person type column person type because we want to use case and you see how case can be helpful in grouping and regrouping of information so these are person type and when i'm asking um, um information it doesn't make any sense i'm asking for data and you are pulling person type and just giving me this what does this thing stands for what do they mean so when you're writing your query you want to put them in the right form take for example the in means individual customer the em means employee the sp means means sales person the sc means store contact the vc means uh, vendor contact the gc means general contact so how do we rewrite this thing and and have them in the best form so that's where the case comes in place and there are three things you need to note in case so the way it works i'm not writing it i'm just only putting it out you're going to have case and you will describe uh, the column you describe the column you are dealing with and then you start using the when so these are major statements we're going to have when you're going to have then you're going to have s and lastly you're going to have end so this is not hard so the case just means okay you want to apply case on a particular column you will state the column and then you start setting your condition when that column is equals to in then put then put um individual customer when it is equals to em put employee and at the end maybe you have exhausted the options s put maybe unknown customer category the hand it so we're going to do that now and so let's start select this time around i'm going to select first name last name then we want to apply case case the case we apply we apply it on person type remember uh pressing type so this person type then what what are the conditions okay when that person type is equals to in then call it what individual customer so these are the individual customer you come again when it is equals to em we have em when em what should then happen then you should put the employee don't forget to close it go back again when sp then what six person this is six person when sc that's talk contact sc excuse me sc then store contact when vc then vendor 
sorry I need to quote it vendor contact when GC then what general contact s what should be the s condition s what unknown just put unknown in case there are none so unknown personal unknown person type rather person type all right then you end you have ended the case statement but you need to rename the column so um i'm going to call it type of contact so that's the name that's the alias i'm giving to that column where are we taking this from from let me just put the from condition here from person dot person all right so remember if you take out these guys you are back to our usual command select first name last name from person dot person but because we are bringing in person type and we need to regroup it that's why we have this so let's run this query and say yeah great so now we have it and you can see easily you know those that are employees is a lot but let me scroll down first that's okay we have individual customers we have them in that manner and um i'm just trying to see if there's a part that we can see okay we have stock contact we have it for all these different categories here okay thank you and see you in the next